Ah, I forgot this is what happens when I trim the beard. It is so itchy now. I need to grow it back to its previous bushy proportions. I would rather be hot and itch free than, let's face it, still hot, but with a really itchy beard face. I've only been out in this heat for an hour today. I've spent almost the whole day in a nicely air-conditioned classroom. One of only, what, three or four air-conditioned classrooms in my school, because it's the one, one of the ones that's full of computers, the joys of being a computer science teacher. Um, driving everyone crazy because they're all sweating and looking very uncomfortable and I was walk wandering around in my room with my jacket on because it gets a little bit nippy in there when the uh, when the air conditioning's on full. The only problem is it, it hits you like a brick as soon as you walk out. I've got a fire escape in my room that just opens straight out onto the playground and opened that, walked out and even before I, my foot hit the floor this just solid mass of heat hit me and I felt it in my chest. It was like someone had just a really heavy pillow just smacked into my chest, which doesn't sound that threatening. I wasn't concerned for my life, but goodness me, was it hot and uncomfortable and horrible. And now I've been sat outside for three minutes and there's already sweat dripping off me again. It's 30 degrees outside again. It's crazy talk, but I have something to show you. I've been talking about where I get my t-shirts from for ages. People are always asking me, it's one of the most common questions I get, Kev, where do you get your t-shirts from? This one, I think I just got in a mystery box at some point. But the place where I normally get my t-shirts from, my cool ones, is QWERTY. Now this isn't a paid feature advertisement thing. That being said, if you, off the back of this, decide to go to the QWERTY website, buy yourself a QWERTY t-shirt, let them know that old Kev sent you, because I would very much like to have them as a sponsor. I can't see anywhere on their website that they have any kind of affiliate programme, but I'd quite like to be able to go to them, send them an email and say, hi folks, I'm this Kev that people keep talking about. I'm the reason however many people have decided to show up and buy a shirt off you in the last week or so. So, um, please, I'd even do it for like a couple of free t-shirts. They don't need to pay me, but it's QWERTY, spelt like that. And they're cool. They have um, cheap shirts. They cost nine quid each, plus a couple of quid for postage, but they're only available for two days. Well, one day at nine quid, and then a second day they're up to 11 quid, and then they're gone forever. You can't buy them anymore. So they have three new shirts appear every day. And you basically, it's a way of getting you to check into the website every day or follow them on Twitter and check in on what that day's shirt is. And this one was from about a week ago. Another cool thing about QWERTY, they always send you a little bag of Haribo with your, with your T-shirt, which Anna's hovering at the door because she wants her little bag of Haribo. She knows that's for her. And then the shirt is for me, which is a very cool gaming character. I think she's going to try and steal the shirt as well, but she's not having it. Um, so... I've got a show, Anna. Lots and lots of gaming characters, which would be a cool shirt to wear at Expos, and also I like the fact that it's not black. I'm trying to avoid the black shirts while it's this hot. So that'll be one that potentially we, we, I, wear at Play Expo in Blackpool. She's just standing in the doorway, and it's concerning me greatly. Apparently I have to go to Tesco and buy custard. Um, in other news, I am going to look at a car tomorrow. Um, presumably, I can bring my camera with me and show you the car too. There's every chance though, I might just buy it there and then. I'm so bored of this car buying process. It's a Vauxhall Mariva I'm going to see. Um, it's like six grand. It's however old it is. I don't even know how old it is, but it looks like it will do the job. And the reason I'm gonna go and see this one is because they're the most, I'm being sold to best by this company than any other. I don't care about the car, I really don't care about the car. I just want it to be a really painless process where I'm sold to well and don't have to do a lot. And this, this, this salesman has been persistent without being pushy and that's probably enough. I'll buy from him and I'll just buy whatever car he tells me to buy. I'll go in there, tell him my circumstances and hopefully walk out with a, a car and a little carrier, but I guess that's how it works. I've never actually gone and bought a car on my own before. Normally I have grown-ups with me, but I don't know any grown-ups who know anything about cars these days, so I'm kind of on my own. But 
never know. It would be nice to have a new car by the weekend because Andy's at his residential um, care Friday night and Saturday night. So A, it would be nice to be able to drive him there worry free, knowing that we've not got like a trip to Boston and back, so two hours of driving where the car could just go at any moment. And then again on Sunday, an hour there, an hour back, at any moment. It'd be nice to have a nice new car, but also the girls are with us this weekend, so it'd be pretty cool to be able to go and do something fun on a Saturday. I've still got my mind on that nuclear bunker place that we talked about a couple of weeks ago, maybe even longer. I waved a leaflet around for it, that looks pretty cool, but it's a long driveway, so if we've got in this car, it's not an option. We're finding that just, I don't know, go somewhere, do something fun, and to do that, we need a reliable car. Last piece of news for you today is I mentioned, I think I mentioned last week sometime that I'd applied for the posh match day announcer job. And um, I got an email back from them today saying I'm in the final five. Yeah, shortlist Kev. And this time next week or Monday next week, I need to go to the local BBC radio station, BBC Radio Cambridgeshire, um, where the five of us are gonna be in studio with the current match day announcer and the guy who does the the morning show on Radio Cambridgeshire but also is a quite involved in posh with media coverage type stuff but the five of us are going to go along and do a light-hearted audition at which point two of us are eliminated and the final three each do a pre-season friendly each as match day announcer and then the winner is the match day announcer for the next season which would be awesome I haven't I, I've told them I do YouTube. I told, I've told them I do Football Manager and that I vlog and all this stuff. I haven't asked them yet if I get the job, whether I can bring the camera and make it really cool. But I don't see why they wouldn't want that. It would be a load of awesome publicity for them and really cool content for me to have on the channels. So, fingers crossed that firstly I make it through this thing. I've never been in a radio studio before. Um, I don't know how different it is to being on telly, which I did last year but it wasn't proper telly so that probably wasn't what real telly's like but i don't know i guess it's very similar to podcasting there'll be a microphone there'll be people and it'll be all right i just won't have to push the buttons like i do when i'm doing the podcast so even the, i'll perhaps try pushing the buttons see how they react to that show that i'm a go-getter but yeah that should be really cool so i'm feeling really positive today i've got a decent chunk of the exam marking done which i still hate doing but i've worked out if i do six percent of my quota every day between now and deadline then i'll hit, hit it the day before the deadline i've done my six percent for today already and it is currently uh it's not 20 past four that's how long's left on my timer it's four minutes to five so I'm on target for that, that means this evening I can, while Anna's doing our podcast, play a little bit of Football Manager, do a video for that, and then do some of the coursework moderation to get back up to speed on that as well. And it's all starting to come together now, we're in the final four weeks of work, I'm seeing the light at the end of the tunnel for the two marking and moderation things I've got on at the moment. Once they're out of the way there's one more, but even that's on like a 10 day turnaround, I won't get as long for that. And that the deadline for that is the day before we hit Blackpool. And then when we get back from Blackpool, I only have three and a half days left at work. And then I'm free. Oh, I'm so looking forward to it. I have also got a security camera coming for the garage, but we'll tell you about that when it arrives because I don't know if I'm gonna keep it yet. I kind of bought it on a whim, but it looks like it might be quite cool first step towards securing the garage and allowing me to have a permanent setup in there that I don't have to bring into the house every evening because that is getting to be a pain in the backside carrying a couple of laptops, cameras, Xbox nonsense back into the house every evening. I could live in a world where I don't have to do that. Thank you for watching.